Hey everybody, Flip here, and welcome to a new type of video on my second channel. Wow, second channel video, I know. Uh, what we're going to be doing today, though, is I wanted to walk you all through the design process that I took to create this mansion here. I recorded most of it inside of Replay Mod while I was designing inside of the Creative Mode because I knew we did something a little bit different today. So if you're excited for that, please be sure to click that like button down below. And if you haven't subscribed to the second channel already, which you're watching right now, be sure to subscribe as well. But thank you so very much for checking this one out, my friends. Without any further ado, let's get into talking about how I came up with this build thing. I don't know. It's a thing. Getting into the time lapse process for today, I wanted to take us back and stitch together all of the different time lapses that we had done so far on this build and starting off with the terraforming, getting everything set up here. This is where I really started to get the general idea of what I wanted to do for this project. Before I get the terraforming in and what I kind of do for creating a plateau, I have a very rough idea in mind of maybe I've drawn it out on a piece of paper, just a general basic idea of, oh, it might look like this, but there's no real rhyme or reason or what I'm doing until I get this part of the project done. As soon as this stuff is finished up here, then I'm more or less good to go. And I try and create this looking as natural as possible, not with any intention of building a structure on it, because I feel like that gives us a better final result in the end here. So you can see kind of all these weirder lines going throughout here. And then of course, we did come back in and flatten this area out a lot, adding in a lot of the cobblestone and things like that on the tippy top of it. But overall, I'm just building up the cliff faces going around the outside with no intention of even doing that lower dock area that we still have to finish up on the survival world and all of these different places around here are starting to come together very, very slowly, but they are coming together really well. And getting the last little bits of the dirt in here and everything like that, it really gives me a good idea of everything that I want to be doing on this project. The goal behind this one, all I knew that I wanted to use at this point was the new nether wood blocks being the warped blocks in this one. I still want to find a way to use crimson wood in the future, but over here, this was all about just get, getting the warp blocks in, finding a way to use them inside my world and just having fun with that. And then just building up this cool mansion, some sort of iconic structure on the side over here, which I thought would be a great way to do it. Getting a few of these rough house designs in here and then getting the rough line for the road that's going to be brought around here and then adding in a little bit more detail to the terrain on the outside, just because I felt like it needed a little bit more pizzazz to it before we actually got into the building. Then after this thing is all done here, we're going to be starting off with the planning. Of course, at this stage, you'll have seen this one before as I'm just kind of laying out a bunch of different lines of concrete powder in here, getting a lot of base ideas in, figuring out the front structure of this one. I knew that I wanted to go off of this being a naval admiral's kind of mansion of sorts, as I've told you all. And I wanted to create the front of it looking a little bit like the front of a boat. I want the front of this thing to look like a boat. So you're walking up and then the pathway splits around this structure, this little kind of statue thing with these two spires off to the side, which I thought would be a really cool way to go. Then over on here, I want to incorporate a few more buildings, of course, and make it look like a bunch of buildings are kind of sharing walls, but each of the buildings are still their own separate entity, which allows for a lot of cool things like you can really mix up the tr the textures of the buildings and have them feel unique. And then you can have a bunch of wooden areas kind of connecting them up with walkways and all those types of things. Then over here, I want to go with a little bit more of a connected route for all of these. As you can see, they're kind of starting to share more than just a simple line, like wall connected to each other, like the red one and the blue one there at the middle, they actually are going to be intersecting quite a bit. Same with this yellow one over here, which eventually does turn into a greenhouse for myself. Now we get into the actual building phase of this is kind of the first point where I started to do a bunch of the building. I didn't, uh, I unfortunately did not get the replay mod footage of me actually designing this structure. I did that later on. So here we're just kind of doing that little 3D printing style that I've been doing a lot of. And I think it turned out really cool in the end. Then bringing in all these other structures over here, you can see that I took out all of the concrete powder that I had. And those were just the base ideas or how to get things in here. Then of course, we break out of that shape. It's not just the boxy thing. You can see the chimney coming out to the side. You can see this area to sit outside or walk outside and look outside a little balcony on the back there. That's the word for it. Then the, again, on the front, we bring it out to make a more grand window and actually give it its own structure to it and something unique instead of just being a flat face with a few blocks cut out of the wall. And in comes the warped wood coming into the roof structure and everything like that, and then breaking up the roof so it's not just plain and boring, added a window going on the north side of the structure there, and then finally coming over here and tackling this last one. I want to go with a lot of grand chimneys on this build, so you can see a lot of the smoke coming out of that first one, and then the two stone pillars on the back of the second building here. 
which are also going to be their own chimneys as they're going to grow up and do everything. Originally, this one I designed just to be a box. And then I was like, that's a little boring looking. So I brought out that front face right there with the two yellow windows and the campfires now on that front side on the left here. And I thought that that added a lot more extra depth to it, just mixing up the shape of the structure again. So it wasn't just a flat line going all the way across, because as you see all of these strip logs come in here, it gets, it gets pretty boring, which is why I added in a lot of the spruce trap doors and stairs and everything to help take that that extra step going along the entire process of this one. And overall, that's the result of the first build take, as you all have seen that one here before. And it's time for us to jump over into actually what I did to design and plan and finish up the second part of it. Over in a creative test world at this point, this is where I started doing a lot of designing for it. So I created a copy of my world and turned it into creative mode and started just using world edit to get some shapes in here. So the iron blocks were all temporary. It's going to all turn into brick here in the end, but I just want to mess with the shape of it and see what I could come up with here for a bit of a lighthouse slash tower design of sorts, something interesting and you can see a lot of different renditions going through here especially if you've seen the final result a lot of things changed inside of this build process i really didn't know much about what i want to do in here i knew i wanted a bit of a chimney on it i knew i wanted that grand bit at the top and then it was just way too tall so i brought it back down so it's more in scale with everything else uh added some stone in areas added the polished granite and then just did more stuff along there messing with it quite a bit as much as i really could then coming over to the second structure here, I knew I wanted this one to be out of the bone block and the diorite, everything like that, because we had done so much with everything else being in the uh, the bricks and everything inside of the tower. Then I want to make this more of a cool design that I've seen off of, as I mentioned, I've seen this design based off of one BOO had done a while ago, and I wanted to make my own version of it. So bringing in the strip log, I thought the cyan wool worked with that well. Uh, so all those things kind of added in here together and ended up coming up with that roof design. You can see me moving around the shapes a bunch just to get it right to a point where I like it. And overall, it was a little rough. Then adding in a little bit of diorite around here, start texturing the thing, then bringing in some window designs. I think that one's inspired a little bit by one I've seen Mythical Sausage do. Then just really messing with these and getting it to even out and roughen it up because this is the ocean side of it. So everything on there would kind of be a little bit more rough with the diorites to making it not look so clean cut. Then this one I struggled with a lot over here because I want to bring in that brick again. And then it was like, OK, well, this is going to cut back into the first structure. So which roof takes priority here? Originally, I was like, oh, let's do the brick one. And then it was too short. And so then I had to merge them into each other together somehow. And overall, it was just a complete mess of trying to get this to work here. You can see the roof going in and out and fixing itself and changing up and everything like that just around the entire place. And then I was like, all right, well, I want some windows down here as well. What can I do to get those in here? And I thought a lot of stone brick kind of bordering them was a good way to go. After that, I was like, all right, let's focus on the inside a little bit, see what we can do around here and just get a lot of things in. And this is where the idea for the greenhouse came in. Originally, it was going to be like a carriage house of sorts like that. And then I just didn't like that idea. So I just kind of ditched it and said, all right, well, we're just going to leave it as we go here. But this is pretty much the entire design process for this one. As we went from start to finish, we're pretty much at the end right now. And then at this point, it was just adding in the final little details of just getting little bits of things added in here, which I did a lot of that in the final rendition of the build outside of this little face right here. But everything else was pretty much done while I was inside of the survival world. All the final details I kind of did on the second take of it. Had to deal with some unfortunate pillager friends and caught a few arrows in my left hand here. But I hope you all enjoyed today's little video here talking about the design process behind this one. I hope it was useful for all of you. And if you want to see more stuff like this, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. But thank you all so very much for checking this one out, watching here and doing all that cool stuff. But without any further ado, my friends, please be sure to click that like button. If you have not already subscribe if you're brand new and I will catch you on the flip side.